Hey guys, in this video we're gonna talk about something that a lot of people are dreading. The mighty pen tool. You might have ended up on this video because you're frustrated and you're sitting out there, I feel you, you're sitting there, it's late, it's 2 a.m. and this goddamn pen tool is not doing what you think it should do or acts the way you think it should act. So I'm gonna try and help with just the basics. So the pen tool lives here, right? You can also use P to access it. The pen tool is a vector tool. You select it and you click it. You're basically creating a vector shape and you can place these little notes and you can reconnect them again here. So now we've made not the prettiest triangle in the world. <laughs> and I think for a lot of people, that's pretty much where their love for the pen tool starts to wither. One of the vital parts is that you understand that you can select individual notes and you can select the whole shape. And you do that by using the neat twin brothers of the pen tool, the path selection tool and the direct selection tool. And the difference between these two are pretty vital. So with the direct selectional tool, you'll notice that the arrow is white. I'm actually able to select individual little notes. Also, here's a side tip for you. Never try to actually click on notes, just kind of drag a little selection box around them so much quicker. But if you choose the path selectional tool, you'll notice that the arrow turns black and you're now selecting the entire path, all the notes. Many minutes have been wasted figuring out why you can't select a single note when you have the path selectional tool and not the direct selectional tool. Basically what you need to remember is the black arrow selects the entire shape and the white arrow selects individual notes in that shape. Great. That's step one in getting more familiar with the pen tool is learning about its younger twin brothers, direct selectional tool and path selectional tool. Another cool little tip is that you can actually shift between these by hitting shift A. So shift A will change between the selectional tools. Now we're on the direct selectional tool, the white arrow, shift A again, back again to the black arrow. We're now on the path selectional tool. So that's how you roll with the selection of the nodes, right? Moving back to the pen tool. When you have a complete shape, what you will notice is that as you hover the pen tool over a selected shape, this little plus appears. That means that you can add more notes to it. And when you add a note to an existing shape, it will actually come with these wonderful little handles out here in the side. You'll see me jump back and forth between the selection tools and the pen tools when I'm working uh, with the pen tool. So stay with me here. But basically, you see, we get this little note and it has its own wonderful little handles. And you can drag these handles around. And if you just drag them, they'll kind of react to each other, right? They're, they're tied to that node and they, they can create some pretty funky vector shapes. But you can also manipulate each handle individually and you do that by holding down Option or Alt. So holding down Option will allow you to fiddle around with just one handle. So let's just say that you've accidentally created a horribly misshaped heart as I have here. What you can do Go, go back to the pen tool, is that you can reset the handles. You can actually remove the handles entirely on that individual note. And you do that by hovering over a note and hitting option. And you'll see it has this little angle shape. And you click that, and now you've actually removed those handles. If you wanna bring back the handles, you can hold down the option again, click on a note, and then drag, drag it out. And this kind of gives you back those two handles. You can get some standard handles like that. So that's how you manipulate handles. You manipulate individual handles. You can manipulate uh, both handles and you can remove them entirely or you can add them back in. Removing a note is pretty simple. You just hover over a note and you click it. You'll notice that there was this little minus next to it. And this way you can kind of manipulate your shape all the way down. Also know that you can, you can use the pen tool on any existing vector shape, right? So in this case, I've created a heart and I hit P. And now you see we have all these individual notes and we can uh, delete some of them. And you'll see how the handles will completely go crazy on some of the other notes. And we can kind of go in holding down the option key as I showed you before. 
and kind of manipulate these individual things. Also, I'm noticing now as I'm doing this that I'm also holding down the shift key uh, because that allows me to manipulate the handles in uh, in these straight angles here without having a complete freeform tool. It makes it a little bit easier to do stuff and, and stay on grid. Going through the pen tool and all these little things that you can do with notes and handles, there's obviously a ton of stuff that I'm not going into here. Lots of little shortcuts, lots of things that I'm not thinking about, but play around with it. Try to get comfortable with the pen tool. The pen tool is really, really, really important if you wanna do any kind of vector work in Photoshop. So get familiar with it. Don't be scared. It doesn't bite and um, you can always undo.